So for my report, I did ion thrusters. They're a relatively new means of spacecraft propulsion. They were first invented only around 40 or 50 years ago. This is what they look like. You can kind of see one here. They utilize the Coulomb force to accelerate positively charged ions and create thrust. Here in the figure, you can see that uh, on the left-hand side, that red cylinder represents a hot cathode that shoots electrons into the system. Around that cathode, you can see these green circles. Uh, those are the propellant atoms entering the system as well. The most commonly used propellant is xenon. It's non-reactive and it's non-corrosive. So it makes a very good propellant for these types of engines. So back to the figure. This middle area here where everything's mixing together, this is called the ionization chamber. In this chamber, the electrons collide with the xenon atoms on their way to the anode. So the electrons come out of the cathode and kind of try to hop over to the anode. And on their way, xenon gets in the way. When the electron collides with xenon, it knocks loose one of xenon's electrons, giving it a positive charge. So once we have these positively charged xenon atoms floating around, they begin to diffuse towards these grids on the right-hand side of the figure. These are called the acceleration grids. The innermost grid has a positive charge, and the outermost grid has a negative charge. So the atoms begin to pass through the positive grid, and then they're attracted to the negative grid. This is causes them to accelerate massively and fly out of the back of the ship. You can kind of see that here. This is one of them in action. You can see that blue light kind of coming out of the back. So once you have all these ions floating around behind your ship, you need to return them to normal charge, otherwise they'll be attracted back towards your ship. This is done with another cathode on the outside of the ship. Seen here, this little white rectangle on top, uh, and there's another one here, that uh, rectangle on top of the thruster. That cathode injects more electrons into the ship's wake, returning the xenon atoms to neutral charge. So after all that science, you probably think you're really zooming about flying around the universe. You're not at all. Ion thrusters are only capable of producing around 91 millinewtons of force. That's the amount of force involved in holding up a piece of notebook paper in your hand. So not very much thrust at all. NASA's website says, quote, You would not want to use ion propulsion to get on a freeway. At maximum throttle, it would take four days to get from zero to 60 miles per hour. So you can imagine trying to do that. So you might be wondering why we even use ion propulsion. It turns out that it's about 10 times more fuel efficient than chemical rockets. This is due to its very high specific impulse, which is basically just force per unit of propellant used. And the scientists estimate that it can reach top speeds 10 times higher than that of chemical rockets. They say they can reach speeds up to 200,000 miles per hour. So with the fuel efficiency of a Prius, top speed of a Lamborghini, and acceleration of a potted plant, these ion thruster engines have really become a favorite for deep space exploration. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.